this video is going to be controversial. Minecraft Live is coming up soon, and just as the past six years have done, a mob vote is taking over the community. The opportunity to decide what could become a part of Minecraft is an incredible idea, but it doesn't seem to work. Over the past few days, the online community has gone up in flames, declaring Mojang as the worst company in the world because they won't give us all three mobs. TikTok has been overtaken by a Minecraft revolution which just... This isn't exactly standing up to the man, you know. The options this year are a crab, a penguin, and an armadillo. These are some of the cutest options we've ever had, and people are in flames over the fact we can't have all of them. But I don't think it's that bad, and here's why. The point of the mob vote is to get hype going for Minecraft Live. Most people know this. Whether or not you're happy, it definitely does just that. More and more people are talking about the mob vote every day. If you really wanted to stand up to Mojang, stop talking. I don't think the mob vote is perfect, but I think some of the community blindly hates on it without realizing what would happen if their demands were met. Before three mobs were added, it would take a lot of time. Most Minecraft players are just that. Players. They've never touched a line of Java code or tried to implement anything into the game. Anything new to Minecraft takes a load of time because Mojang cares about having a polished game. But modders can make things in two days! Shush. Shush. Stum. Stop talking. So many modders have come out and said that the level of detail and care Mojang uses takes an insane amount of time. Why don't they just get more developers? They have Microsoft's money! Shut your mouth. Many more knowledgeable people can explain Brooks Law better than me. But in short, hiring more people to develop something can make it take more time. More people does not equal fast. With coding, tasks are a lot less divisible than, say, cleaning a hotel room. Mojang has hundreds of employees, but so much manpower has got to be focused on things like marketing, Minecraft Legends, merchandise, Minecraft ads? It's not as clean cut as people think. The mob vote gets people excited about updates without making promises Mojang can't keep. Another thing the company has been flamed by the internet for. People would be so much more upset if they got promised three cute mobs and nothing appeared. But, as I said earlier, it's not perfect, so here's how I would improve it. Like the biome vote, let the community choose what gets added first, and the other options are pushed to later on in the game's development. For all of those things we've lost, maybe Mojang could do a lost update, where previously shown options that didn't quite make the cut find themselves into the game. Changing things up every year could also be fun. One year have a fourth mob on the roster, another year have the mobs as mysteries where details slowly get revealed. I think we also just need a bit more information about what we're choosing. Mojang have improved on that this year, with each mob implementing some kind of feature to the game. This also means the mobs won't just fall into obscurity after the first week of them being implemented. So yeah, stop complaining. Just kidding, I hope you enjoyed the video. What would you change about the mob vote? Do you want me to never post anything again because I don't hate it? Let me know! I won't beg for a like and subscribe, but please, I hunger for internet validation. Bye!